Hi there, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassandra and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a review on um, God's Design Life for Beginners. Um, this is the Masterbook Science program for, I think it's the first one. Now my kids are six and five and so I'll be sharing with you our experience with this book um, after we do a little flip through here. So, all right, so let's go ahead and look inside. This book has three different units here. We've got plants, human body and animals. Within those units, we've got sort of mini units. We've got six per per unit. <laughs> so we've got six plant units, six human body units, and six animal units. We've got a little teacher introduction. And then we've got a supply list here in the beginning. If you are gonna do the optional activities, we didn't do many of these, but this was something we did over the summer. Some of the activities in here are really neat, but not necessary in my opinion to have this be a good program. Just to clarify, this is meant to be an overall science program for the year. Um, as you can see, it's broken up, even has a schedule here for you. So you can follow this if you need to grade or have, you know, due dates or whatever. Um, that's a little much for this age, I feel like, but if it's required maybe in your area, that would be something you can do. So as you can see here, I've ripped out a page. All the pages are perforated. If you're just doing this with one child to be able to rip them out, that's the only page in the book I'm pretty sure I ripped out. I don't know why I did, but um, I did this with two children and I just photocopied if there was an activity like the scavenger hunt um, at the end of the lesson, there's always an activity. And so I would just photocopy it. So here's how a lesson is set up. We'll do lesson two here. You've got your lesson here. This is just something you read to the child and then they can um, trace these words if you're doing it with just one child. I made these little books for my children and had them write the word and put um, a picture of what the word was. And I just put a piece of scrapbooking paper, folded it, stapled it, and put some sheets in there. Um, just really makeshift. So um, you can see my son here, he's four. He's done some writing and then these are his joints, joints picture. Sometimes we just wrote the word, but I would tell them if they could draw a picture. He's got some fruit here, Venus flytrap for a plant. Oh, he made me draw that, I think. And then he tried to draw one over here. And then in the back here, if they had an activity that they wanted to keep, they could uh, just glue it in the back. So that's what I did. Uh, if you're doing it with multiple kids, that might be a cheap thing for you to be able to do too. So I did only make them do one word that I picked. Um, but you know, sometimes it has more than one. And then it always has a little activity and some review questions. So some of them have a scripture as well. Now this is my first con I would say of this program is that, and this is really personal. I'm sure this does not apply to most people, but these scriptures are not King James version. They're, you know, some other kind of version. Um, so I didn't like that as much. I would never make them trace all this as well. Like that is way too much writing for a child this age in my opinion. They, my child would get so tired of this if I made them write, write this whole scripture out. And that's, in my opinion, not even helping a child that can't read at this point, um, which is what this program is aimed toward. Maybe it's grade one it's supposed to be. I think, I thought it was kindergarten. So maybe if you're, even if your child is reading, I doubt they're reading at this level. So it's not exactly helpful at this point. So that's the first thing. Second thing is it's not in King James Version, but I would just look up the scripture and read it to them. So it's really no big deal, but you know, that extra step can matter in an open and go program. I didn't say that. This is an open and go program and it is a Christian program. Now, this little thing here signifies that there is a activity at the back that you can choose to do. I always, always miss this. Like I never, <laughs> I think I caught it maybe twice or three times, maybe. Um, which I'll show you the experiments at the, at the back or the activities they call them. But uh, yeah, that is not enough to me to signify that there's an activity or to signal you. Like it should be at the end of the lesson, like, oh, don't forget to do the activity or something. I don't know. That wasn't set up very well to me um, because like I said, I always missed it. But maybe you're not as unobservant as me <laughs> and you're gonna see that and know what to do. So just to let you know, and that is in the teacher instructions that I showed you in the front. It does explain how that works. But I, this is another thing I'll say about this program is, so we've got here that we're doing cells um, and labeling them and talking about them, which is just a little introduction, which I think is awesome. But comparing this to some of the lessons that are like literally, this is an animal and this is a plant. 
right? Like you, your child probably knows at that point what a plant and an animal is, but does not know what a cell is. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's quite a gap in the uh, like range of the information, in my opinion. Like I get that it's just an overview and an introduction. Even doing a word search here, like to, re re um, to look up classification, I feel like that's too much for this level. They didn't like it most days. Some days they really enjoyed it. It just depended what the activity was and stuff. Because, you know, a lot of the stuff they knew, and if they didn't know it, it was it was not at their level, I found. So, you know, those are all the cons in it. Now, the pros are, of course, that it's open and go. It's um, It has nice, colorful pictures. It is, like I said, it's a great supplement, in my opinion. And I was remembering and learning things. So, it can't hurt to introduce those things early and... Um, you know, especially if you're reviewing them later on down the road. They loved the meat eating uh, plants. They love the Venus flytrap part. But I think you get the idea of the lessons. So let me take you to the activities, which are just at the back here. So there really aren't many. That's another pro for a lot of people possibly is that you know, when there's a ton of experiments, I'm always reading online that people are like, okay, forget it. Um, I personally love that, but you know, I can understand if you have seven kids or something or even one, it's just depending on your life, um, how that can be overwhelming. So for the whole plant unit, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight experiments or activities. So that's really not many. Um, some of the ones we loved were these leaf rubbings. They ran out and grabbed some leaves and were able to you know, see the veins in the leaves and everything. They really liked that. But of course, depending on the time of year it is and where you live, we're up here in Yellowknife Northwest Territories. So that's something we would have had to do in the summer. We don't, <laughs> we don't have any leaves here most of the time because it's winter. But, um, uh, and they're really basic things like I spy, look at, we're gonna learn the, the bones song. They really liked that. Um, even the pasta skeleton, that's a classic. I remember doing when I was in school. But most of them are really basic and uh, fun, fun for the kids. So then of course you've got an answer key. So I do see on the back, it says for K to second grade. So again, a lot of the stuff is really relevant for K, but it, it like a lot of the stuff is maybe more relevant for second grade. I think that's too big of a gap for a science program in my opinion, but who knows? Um, you know, everybody has a different opinion. That's just my opinion. In, in comparing this to the sunlight one, it is it is vastly different. I do find the sunlight one better. It comes with great videos. I will do a, a, a review on it another time, but um, I really like the videos and it comes with an experiment a week. It really dives deep into a topic. I like that. Um, yeah, this one is just like a skimming. <laughs> in my opinion. I not, not to say I won't do these again. I, I might if my children would tolerate them a little better, but as far as the enjoyment level for my children, the sunlight one blows it out of the water. They just did not enjoy this one as much. So if you're looking for something enjoyable um, and fun for your children and engaging, then I would definitely go with the sunlight one. However, if you're looking for something easy, if you're looking for something cheap, um, this one is way cheaper. If you're looking for something with low experiments, looking for something open and go, um, the sunlight one is, but it's not as open and go as this. So if you're looking for that, this is the one for you for sure. It's actually very affordable. So that's my thoughts on the Masterbook um, Life for Beginners program. If you have any questions though, go ahead and leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. But if you did like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more uh, homeschool uh, videos as well as other motherhood videos, weight loss, um, all sorts of things. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe if that's interesting to you and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.